I thought this was an interesting problem to solve. There are a few little things that kind of popped up. So I have a couple of little links. I've got my side link and I've got my front link. And now I'm just drawing the path that I want my chain to follow. This is just using the general pencil tool here. I've got my stabilizer turned on, set to 60, and my close distance as well. With these two little shapes down here, if I just click into stroke, I've got you've got the option of aligning the stroke to the inner, the outer, or the center. I've just done mine to inner in this instance, and I've given it a width of 35. Okay, so if I just want to create an array, select my two shapes, and then I can just hold Alt and then link it to the stroke color. And now it's applied that color array to the stroke of both of those. So there's a few few issues with this. Um, the rotation uh, is wrong, and you've also got like a bit of a, a depth issue because they all try to be on top of the one before them. So one thing we could do here is click on our capsule and click align. And that puts the align exactly in the center of the capsule. And that's fixed it up a little bit. If I change the duplicate account, so you can still see parts of it are still a little wonky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this thing and try and improve it. So I'll delete my duplicator in this this time. I'll put my align under my capsule link. And I'm just going to create a little circle and I'm going to put this into a duplicator. Set it to path. And you guessed correctly, I will be putting this into this path and then I will extend it around a bit. I'm just going to eyeball this one. You could use a little bit of maths, but I'm just going to jump in there and just do it as fast as I can. Um, so now I'm just going to add a points to path. So with our points to path, this basically just allows you to feed in any kind of um, point source. So in this instance, I'm actually come down to submesh. And on that, I'm going to put the duplicator. And you're probably thinking, hey, this is kind of like the old one, but what we're going to turn off here is Bezier and make it a closed one as well. And I'm just going to come down and I'm going to turn off my main chain path. Okay. So now we have, and now we can just put our frame back into here. And now we have all these evenly spaced lines rotating around that original path. So if we click our two shapes again, and we put those back into a duplicator, We'll change this to shape edges and we'll put in our points to path. So now there's less kind of moving around and floating around with all of those. So just going back between the original one. There seems to be a bit more movement so it's a it's a minor detail but i think it, it did kind of add to it so on this duplicator we've also got this issue with the overlapping so what i'm going to do here is just add a 3d matrix and i'll use the levels and we've got this z option here so what we're going to do is just add an array and in our array We'll just make one in front of the other. And then we can hit play and we have our chain nicely moving around. So to tweak that a little bit, you could always just come in here and move them down a bit. Um, just just changing that scale ever so slightly. The, the trick is just to match the length of those segments to the length of the links. 
And yeah, that's, there are a couple of ways I guess of doing it, but I found like this way kind of gave me results that I was pretty happy with. In some of the instances, some of the corners, you wouldn't want them to be too sharp. Um, but hey, it's just a bit of, bit of tweaking here, changing those lengths, changing the, the thickness of the strokes as well. And you'll, you'll get something quite, quite nice. So you can check out the artist raydecklam.com and on Instagram as well. He's got some awesome illustrations, uh, great use of texture and great use of color. Uh, this is the illustration. So yeah, be sure to jump on and follow him if you don't already. He's got some beautiful work.